rather fitting that this review happens, considering that the very first review I actually did was on 1911, and my 100th episode was on 1911, I guess a Christmas episode based around the same model of pistol, but different manufacturer, seems rather poetic in a sense. But, let's actually talk about the 6mm Pro Shop 1911, or M21. And as many people have pointed out when I unboxed this, so, say, October, I think I unboxed this in October, I think? I'm not sure. Cat? Kitten. Hey, no. No messing with my Christmas tree. My cat's down there right now messing with my Christmas tree. Get up out of there! Good God, my cat. I swear to God. Anyway. So, a lot of people point out that this is basically a double eagle. Well, not just that, but it's also been rebranded with Tokyo Marui. It's also been, originally, it was a Tokyo Marui from, my now, uh, from what I could research, as well as it being licensed under UTG and a few other people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We don't care about that. What we care about is, what do we get in the box? But before we even get inside the box, I don't know why I did that, is let's go ahead and look at the cover art. It's actually, it's actually okay. Yes, the M21 is Call of Duty, obviously, because, of course, why not? But what I like is that the little detail right there and that little schematic almost. It's actually really nice. I do like that. And I do like how they present the pistol here, but at the same time, it's kind of me. So, the question is, is this pistol worth the price tag? Which it did have a price tag on it, but it's being covered by the box. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. So, what do you get inside of it? Well, you get this instruction manual, which has a nice little cylinder there. It's kind of cute. Nice in the back, too. And it is actually an instruction manual and from what I can see so far, is mostly English. But there is Chinese. Anyway. So, doing that. What we do get inside the box is a lovely bag of 6mm Pro Shop .2s. I'm not joking, these are .2 BBs. Will I use these? No, not until I get more 6mm Pro Shop. PayPal link down below if you want to help out with BB supplies. But the pistol itself is what we really want to look at. So let's go ahead and set the box to the side here. There we go. So, the pistol itself. Actually really good. It's really nice. It uses a standard UTG style magazine, which... Standard, of course. Has a working safety. The grip safety actually works, so if you actually try to pull the trigger without pulling down the grip safety, it's not going to do anything. Even... This here, it's not going to work. So both safeties do work. But what's really neat about this pistol is the fact of when you go to rack it, you do have an open bolt, sort of. Let me just go ahead. Yeah, I can't exactly get a good light in there. But you can see up in there so you, uh, good enough so that way if you have a... Uh, eh, that was a one. Uh, have a jam or anything like that, you can actually open it up and see what the hell is going on. But what's actually really nice about it is it's upgradable. Hear me out. You can actually pop out the pin here. Just pull this back a bit. Okay, I can't do that because that's going to have it fully primed, but pull this down, push it all the way out. I wish I had my pin with me. I really do. Oh, wait, here's something I can actually use. Okay. There we go. That happened. <laughs> um, yeah, no. The spring came flying out and everything else is in there. But yeah, no, there's all the other components and all that, and this can be upgraded. Uh, why? Because the back plate is removable. <laughs> so you can actually replace the spring in here with a better spring if you want. Let me see if I can get this back in there. There we go, and go. And I have it upside down. Okay, that's lovely. That is lovely. Let me just put that right side back up. And son of a person, her. Okay. There we go. And there you go. Like I said, this is upgradable. You can literally remove the spring, put in a better spring so it has more power, more oomph. You can even put a tight bore inner barrel in here. However, it doesn't have a hop up. But knowing you, smart sons of bitches, you might be able to actually install a hop-up in this thing. Now, putting it back together is the fun part. 
because you have to line it up just right on everything. Push the barrel back as such. Push this forward in here. Let me just get this. There we go. Oh, son of a whore. There we go. And voila. Back together. And yes, this actually is a very comfortable pistol. Now, trying to put actual aftermarket parts on this, like uh, grips or anything like that, I leave that up to your discretion. Uh, I'm going to leave the wood grips on here because I love that, this style of 1911. I just, I love the classic GI look, I really do. Now, it does come with the standard GI style sights, meaning you have a small leaf up here, a, what have you, but in reality, this isn't meant to have precision aim. What you're supposed to do is more or less have it primed around the chamber and more or less pull it out like that. Just how it is, more or less, you know? Anyway, though. Now, the pistol itself is actually really nice. It's weighed pretty good, and... Yeah. Anyway, I've gone on gabbed enough. It, I've shown all you need to see. Let's go ahead and go to the range and actually see how this does, shall we? Okay, we have the chronograph all nice loaded up, as well as this one, 5.2 BBs from Black Ops. And let's see how she does, shall we? Okay, firing the first shot. 215. 213. 215. So we're definitely hovering around the 215 area. This says 97, 96 feet. We'll check out. We will uh, test that 96 feet range. Anyway. But yeah, no. This thing actually does have a pretty decent FPS actually staying and not fluctuating beyond 215. And not even fluctuating relatively extremely low 215. So with the right upgrade, this could actually be a little good. Uh, aside from that, though, Let's actually load this up with a full magazine and take it outside and actually see if it will actually hit this. Now, I am only going to load up 10 rounds. I am going to load up the 7 rounds as a real 1911 would have, so we'll have 7 shots. Anyway, let's get on out there and uh, see how she performs, shall we? Alright, so we're about roughly 50 feet out. I want to say roughly, but, you know, I don't know. I have the 7 shots ready to go, so let's see if it'll hit. It went over the target. Um, I don't know if you guys could see that. Uh, hold on, let me just lower you down a bit. It went over the target. I'm, I'm not even joking, it went over and beyond. So let's see if it'll hit the barn. Let's, let's see if it'll hit that. That went beyond the barn and hit the back gate that's behind the barn. Do I have one more round? I have two more rounds, folks. I'm gonna try something. Let's hit the wall there, shall we? So it didn't hit the wall right on. Okay, so I got one more round. Let's try hitting the wall again. It 
It hit the roof. It, it hit the roof. Yeah, the wind's blowing a bit, but it, it, it hit the roof. If I was using point two fives, I think we'd be shooting a little straighter, but no, I'm using point twos because I thought this thing wasn't that great, but hell was I wrong. Jesus. It hit the barn door. What is this even? The, the, the 6mm Pro Shop make something I didn't know about that was actually really good for the price tag it's asking for? Let's, let's get back inside and give the final verdict, shall we? So earlier I said the price tag of it. And well, the price tag was on eBike right now $24.97 which would have been $25. However, right now it's on sale for $20. And can I say you should grab one? Yes! I'm sorry, the fact that it was nailing targets out there, well not even targets, the, my barn at beyond 60 feet, even going over the barn and hitting the roof, which was roughly beyond 100 feet, that is fucking insane. Get this. Not just because it's a full one-to-one -one design of St. Browning's design in the holy year of 1911, but the fucking fact that it is $20, it's upgradable. It's everything I've ever wanted in a fucking pistol. I gotta say it. I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing this out there right now, guys. This is no more, no less than a nine out of 10. It is a must own. Well, what do I mean, a 10 out of 10? Locking back. No, I'm not even joking on that. If they gave you the ability to lock the slide back, actually pop this up, then by God, that would be a fucking 10 out of 10 right there for me. But, I'm sorry, the fact that this is right now on eBay, $20, even at stock MSRP of $25, fucking get this. It's upgradable. It can be modified. It can be everything can be done to it. Fucking grab this while you still can. Get it for Christmas for God's sakes. Bug the hell out of your parents or your friend or whatever. Say, get me this for Christmas. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. As always, I've been yourself down that common man's airsofter who reviews bad guns so you don't have to so you don't buy them. I almost messed up my ending with the line there. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and to my atheist, have a nice day. To the liberals, the commies, socialists, whatever, go fuck yourselves, okay? Go fuck yourselves. Till next time.